dress being ripped because of a hanger situation. So I've got new hanger situations now. Hanger, I don't know how you even call it. Like, yeah, like lack of organization of your actual wardrobe. So I chose the one with the rose gold detail and it is just absolutely gorgeous. Ah, ah I can't wait. And it's like velvet. Got the whole package here. Ugh. Right. Hi everyone, I'm Jasmine. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, or not, yet, got this massive package. If you haven't followed my channel yet, please do subscribe and ring the bell so you can know more about fashion styling tips as well as mindful practices and perhaps just some light fashion dance experiments that I'll be doing. I finally did it, I finally did it and there will be a lot of travel vlogs as well so tell me what exactly you want to see. I've spent like the last three years really just working on my mindset so I could level up, level up my life, level up my mindset, level up my goals. Yeah, I'm more than happy to share. This came in yesterday and at first I thought it was my vlogging camera and I finally, yes, I finally bite the bullet finally got that vlogging camera that I've been wanting to get but no, alas, it is the crazy assortment of pink and beige hangers with the rose gold detail and all because my wardrobe has been a mess for like the longest time like I don't know about you but like my mom just gives me any hanger that she can find in the house and it just comes in all shapes all sizes and it just creates bulk in my wardrobe and I'll show you a quick clip I take things out like it will catch onto things and sometimes you know you've got like the gorgeous detail on your dress and then it gets like pulled and ripped or destroyed just because of the lack of like <laughs> wardrobe arrangement uh of my wardrobe situation now that's not great and i'll show you the before and after i've got the beige and pink ones with the rose gold detail for both because i wanted to keep everything the same color i just thought it'd be nice if i have two colors because then it like sort of doesn't look as boring but then also i could categorize things like maybe i haven't thought about it yet but this is the hanger maybe like a certain category of stuff will go on these and then maybe another one on the pink ones. Again, I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet. So we're gonna do that. And actually, it didn't even cost me that much. I actually just got it off uh, Shopee and they were having a sale and they came in bulk and it was cheaper in bulk. And oh yeah, let's do that. Oh, I already have these as like the core. Three years ago, I got these ones and, and they have this little like, it singes in. Like, but then I realized like things slip off very easily and depending on what the material is. For They are like completely rose gold, which is different in my wardrobe. The only ones that actually are in theme. Everything else is a mess and I will show you. I got these ones and they sort of go together with the rose gold. This was from Prima in UK. The is still darker. The ones are a little bit more rose rose. This is more champagne. The messy wardrobe assortment situation where everything and anything goes. <laughs> and we'll just ignore the bottom because then this is mine, this is mine. And even then, we've got some of our very old childhood stuff that we just keep because they're really cute and some uniforms. But this whole section is mine. Some ballet tutu stuff. If you're a dancer, you know costumes take up so much space in your wardrobe. I used to have it like a little bit more organized in color, then I realized I don't like it. It doesn't work for me. I can't find things and then I put it according now to like uh, types of clothing like the shirts are here the big skirts just always go to the end the big jackets go all the way to the end and costumes dance costumes whatever costumes I don't wear very often goes all the way there because I don't really open I tend to just open like one side and just grab my stuff here all these things at the bottom are like more like things that I wear every single day so they're very reachable they have another one here but they're not hangers they're all just like folded stuff so we're not going to go into that today but I really just want to sort this situation out because you can see what I mean right and sometimes it gets so messed up and then you pull things out and then things get ripped or destroyed and that's really not what we want that is the situation we're gonna try and get that sorted out so successful to say it's half done and now we've just got the main bits which are all the heavy skirts and the costumes and just some little bits of bobs uh, left. So let's see how it goes.
situation now. I've got about sort of four more sets of hangers left and I realized what it's sort of one style so it doesn't really work with things like this dress here say right it will slip off and it doesn't have any of those like strings to hold on everything else seems to be working fine and next challenge is the skirts and dresses and costumes which probably i would keep the original hangers for now put it all back in I showed you the pile and then I started putting but it's adding a lot more bulk than I expected I didn't realize how many skirts I have and like those really long flowy cottage core kind of bulk. they're really chunky and they add a lot of bulk that they take up 50% of my wardrobe so probably should think about getting rid of stuff like what do I not wear anymore and moving more into like loungewear because I spent time overseas and I came back now I'm like always kind of hot in Singapore so I tend not to reach for like my long sleeves anymore or my jackets a lot of them are sentimental so I'll probably just keep those still so for now I've only found this way of doing it take so much space or bulk and that's what I would, I'm doing now just gonna leave it like this and drape it over and I'm still going to keep looking and see if I can find other solutions but I like it because it's flat it's all going to be very condensed and that's what I wanted because I didn't want it to rip anything and I just sit like this I think it's quite safe it's not going to fall I'll just fold it, flap it down like that and it's pretty light pieces there are some that I still use the old ones that I would just have the clip on thing this is the old way that I've been doing it I have some of these hangers I don't have a lot of it it's just sort of that you sort of clip in so I'm going to see if I can find these ones that's like thin and condensed like this one's pretty good so I'm just going to leave it for now because some of my pieces do need like that sort of solid solidified like solid grip because it's quite heavy for some of them this one's one of my favorite absolute favorite skirt I'm going to work with that folding situation it's got a lot a lot of bulk at the bottom is even like extra detail right there so it's really thick and it's not gonna work so sadly i'm just gonna leave this for now hopefully i can find another solution to this soon but for now that works it's okay it's only a few pieces i'm gonna put it all back and see how different it looks it's looking a lot better now i feel like i don't go crazy like oh my god taking stuff out and it's gonna catch on something and spoil my dress and when, I guess for loungewear that I'm wearing a lot more these days I can put it at the bottom obviously ignore the bottom but I have to sort that out as well yeah I think that's we'll see how it goes and I've used all of them they're looking pretty good not gonna lie uh, I really am in love with it it looks so organized now I am in love with it quickly I will show you the clip of like how it looks like right so we're almost done clip the skirt and then you lock it in like that I've got like some of these little belly tights that I used to always wear every single day you can see that one's so loose um, but just hang it like that I just am in love with it this is all I have left and you saw how big the box was and I also brought in some of the stuff that I have hanging outside in the living room and managed to fit them in now that it's all uniform like now it's a lot more condensed and so I managed to fit in a lot more stuff from outside as well so it's looking pretty good and yeah I'll show you the final clip thank you for watching today's video I hope you liked it I will link things below and if I can't find them I will find like new links to the hangers as well as some of the pieces that I'm wearing if you're curious this is just from Shopee and this is a Lululemon piece. 
and do subscribe and tell me exactly what else you want to see do you want to see what's in my wardrobe do you want to see how my style has changed over the years how i found my own style and how i've done mindset work to finally become the person that i am today and what other goals i'm having for this year and into next year but thanks for watching bye